Hey guys, thank you so much for your suggestions on the Slack clone. I'm going to let people catch up in the series and let them vote on what they want to see. And then next week we'll start implementing the features you guys want. Now I got another suggestion about how to do material UI tables and that was uh, sorting. So usually you were able to select these username, last name, first name, um, columns, headers, and it'll sort ascending. And if I click it again, it'll sort it descending. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today. Now you might notice I'm on a Windows computer. That's why things might look slightly different, but luckily Visual Studio Code works on uh, Windows as well. So it'll look fairly similar. Okay, let's jump into things. So the first difference you might see is I just pasted in some data here so I don't have to keep typing out random stuff. Um, that's the only difference is I just have a bunch of JSON data filled in uh, my initial state. Okay, so how are we going to sort these headers over here? Um, this is in our table. So we want to add an on click to these column headers. So we want something like this where I can on click and I'm going to make just this a div right here. Div and on click. I want to call some kind of sort function. Handle sort, and I'm just going to pass x dot prop. So handle sort. So we need to pass in a handle sort function, and I'm just going to pass in the name of the column that we want to sort, which is called x prop. And we should handle it in our app.js how this is going to get sorted. So I'm going to give that a save, come over here and create a handle sort function. So here is going to be the column name that we want to sort. And we're just going to pass that in here. So handle sort, it's going to be this dot handle sort. Now, how do we want to do this? Because whenever we get this column name, we want to sort on that column and we need to know what we sorted on last because if it's ascending, we want to flip it to descending. Now, this could be a pretty daunting task if it wasn't for Lodash. If you haven't heard of Lodash, this is a lovely utility library um, that has a lot of great functionality that I really like. And one of the things they have is order by, and this is exactly what they want. So we have a list of objects here and we want to tell them to order by a particular column. So here they're ordering by user and age. And then you say whether you want ascending or descending. So that's perfect. So we're going to be using this and I'm just going to open up my terminal here and terminate that and do npm install um, lodash. Now I'm doing npm because I haven't installed yarn yet on this computer. Um, but you can also use yarn if you want to. Okay, so now I really just want to store up here in my state um, the uh, column to sort, and by default, we'll do an empty string and um, the sort direction. So by default, I could be ascending, for example. And we could put descending if we want to. I think that'll work better for our algorithm. And all right, let's add a comma there. So here, all I really wanted to do is set this dot set state. And I'm first going to grab the state. Because what we want to do is we want to say column to sort is going to be equal to our column name that we passed in and then direction, sort direction. Um, this is going to be the opposite um, of what's here if we already have the column here. Otherwise, it's gonna be ascending. So we're gonna say state.column to sort if that's equal to column name. Then we wanna invert it. Otherwise, we wanna say ascending. Now, how are we going to invert it? So this is going to be another ternary operator, I suppose. So if state dot um, column to sort, you don't actually, let's just create an invert map up here. So I'm going to just say const 
invert direction. So ascending is descending and descending will be ascending. So now if I pass it in here, we'll just uh, flip it around. So coming back, now I don't have to do ternary inside ternary. I'll just say invert direct. Why didn't I call it direction? Invert direction, there we go. Did I call it invert direction up here? Nope, direction, there we go. Okay, so let's just go over the code one more time. So we're setting the column that we want to sort equal to the column passed in. And then our sort direction here, we're first checking if we already have sorted on this column before, or if it was the most recent sort. If it was, we switch the direction. Otherwise, we sort it ascendingly. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we need to actually sort the data. So we, in, we uh, installed Lodash, okay? So I'm gonna just do npm start so my server starts up again. And then at the top here, I'm going to import and I'm gonna do order by from Lodash slash order by. So I'm just importing this exact function so it's smaller to import than in, uh, importing the whole Lodash package. Okay, so now coming back down here just in my data right here, I'm gonna say order by, pass this data, and now I need to tell it the column, which is in this dot state dot column to sort, and then this dot state dot column or sort direction. So we can just pass those exact, um, our state exactly in here like that, and uh, Lodash will handle sorting this data on this column in this direction. Now let's see this in action. Okay, um, and I just misspelled it. There we go. And cool, so let's click on that. Now we see all our A's here. I can invert this. And it looks like our inversion's not working. Are we getting an error or? Let's make sure it was descending, yep. All right, so let's see what's going wrong with our code. So I'm just going to console.log this.state.column to sort and this.state.column or sort direction. So maybe our sort direction is not getting flipped like we think it is. Um, let's see. All right, yeah, it's going undefined. So invert. Oh, this should be sort direction. I just used the wrong thing. So I was passing in the name instead of the direction. All right, now let's see. Yeah, now we see tan come up at the top. And I can sort these guys, Bs, Ss. Each column seems to be working nicely. Cool. So that is how you sort these guys. Now, a lot of you may be wondering, how can I add like a little icon up here? Usually they'll have like a little arrow that will point up or down. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that as well. So we're just gonna use a icon from Material UI. And I thought this arrow drop down looked pretty good or this arrow drop down or maybe these, these keyboards. You pretty much use any icon you want, we'll use these. And so this is under navigation. And so we're just gonna come over here to our table. This is a purely aesthetic thing. Um, and we're going to install down arrow, import this from navigation, and that's arrow drop down. So arrow dash drop dash down, and up arrow, I assume, is drop up. Yep, arrow drop up. So down up. Okay, so here we want to pass in now to our function um, what column we're sorting on. So column to sort is equal to this dot column to sort. That way we can show over here column to sort. And we also need to pass in the direction so we can show which direction the arrow should be. So 
sort direction is equal to this dot state dot sort direction. And we'll grab those props here. So sort direction and column to sort. And then in our header right here, what we want to do is we're just going to show the name right here. And let's drop down. We want to conditionally show our icons. So if column to sort is equal to our name, so x.prop, then we know we want to show something. Otherwise, we're going to show null. Um, I'm not sure why, what it doesn't like. Oh, because we have two of these. So we're going to display an array here, I think. Do a comma, does that work? And maybe I just need to do it like that. I don't know how we display this and that. Here, why don't we just do a span tag. There we go. All right, now it looks like the error is our way. So, okay, so column to sort, if it is equal to our prop, we need to sh no, we need we now know we need to show some sort of icon. So here we're gonna do another ternary operator, and we're gonna say sort direction. If it's equal to ascending, then we want to show um, our ascending icon, which I guess is uh, was it up arrow up arrow could be our ascending and down arrow can be our descending you can just do this whatever way you want to and let's see if that looks correct so by default we see nothing all right that did not work so here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to console.log column to sort and xprop to see what we're doing wrong and if I do an or it'll also evaluate this conditional okay so always undefined looks like I just column to sort passed it in wrong column to sort yep this should be state there we go all right cool so now we see a little arrow pop up so we can get rid of this console log now Oops, and I need to go back and confirm. The arrow was only popping up here, right? Cool. So now if I sort over here, notice how it goes away there. Go down, up. So that's awesome. So now we have this little icon that represents as we're doing it. Now I'm sure some of you are cringing right now because this is off center. So let's fix that real quick. And that's just a quick style change. So on our div, we're just gonna say um, display, and we're gonna say flex, and we're gonna say justify content center, and we're gonna say align items center. And sure enough, now our arrow is much more aligned with that guy. So cool. But that did just like mess up this thingy. I think it was our justify center yep okay cool now it lines up better here i'm used to centering it in the center so now with the line items that'll make sure these two line up but we still are above the correct um rows so cool so that's it for this video guys i hope this was helpful for creating a sortable um list of our table and I will push this code on to GitHub if you want to check it out. And that's all for this, guys.